Italy is one of the countries that has been worst affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. However, over the past few weeks, the situation has slightly improved. And despite the immense suffering, there is a possibility that the country will slowly begin reopening soon. The lockdown is set to end on Monday. Meanwhile, a number of new issues have come up. And these issues are likely to come up in many countries which have been affected by this pandemic. This includes mainly the situation of the working class, especially the situation of the migrant workers and the problems they face. To discuss more about this, we have with us Mauricio Coppola, an activist with Potere del Popolo, which is Power to the People, a leftist political party in Italy. Thank you so much, Mauricio, for joining us. Thank you very much. Yes. So to begin with, I understand that there is a strike happening on the 21st of May. And this is a strike by the migrants. So there's been a lot of debate about the problems faced by migrants over the past many years. But I understand that the COVID-19 pandemic has especially brought these problems to the fore. So could you tell us first a bit about what this strike is about and what are the key demands? Okay, yes, the strike uh, was called by the field workers, the migrant field workers, uh, because um, in the context in which the government decided to talk again about the regularization of uh, migrant workers, so giving a, a permit to stay to the irregular and black working uh, uh, migrants, um, it is uh, totally um, limited the, uh, the possibility to access to the to the permit to the resident permit because it is only for field workers and only for care workers. But also in these two categories, you have a lot of, of points you have to 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 go uh, to uh, to guarantee for having access to the to the um, resident permit to a, a, a temporary permit because it's only for six months. So the field workers they say it is not enough. We don't want to be used only as a, a commodity as a workforce. We are human beings. So you have to give us permits for a longer period, uh, permits that are possible to convert also to a, a longer working uh, permit. And um, and they decided to to stop working and to make a strike now on the twenty. 1st of, uh, of May. And uh, for us of Potera Popoli, it is sure that we have to sustain, to support this, uh, this strike politically, because it is not only linked to, uh, to the question of, um, of a permit, it is also linked to a question of salary, of wages, because field workers are uh, uh, working uh, on the very per precarious conditions, and this is also something they, they push forward to say, uh, documents are not enough, it is the most important, one of the most important conditions to having the power also to negotiate good salaries, good wages, but the point of the wages is something that is coming uh, uh, shortly after the, the, the question of the documents. So they ask also for, uh, for uh, dignous uh, uh, salaries and wages, and they are also um, uh, asking for a housing program because the most, both all in the south of Italy, you have around the fields where the uh, migrants are working, you have a lot of of tents, of camps, of ghettos, uh, where the migrants are uh, living without warm water, without possibility to uh, protect yourself from the coronavirus uh, diffusion. So they are also asking that the government intervenes for having a housing project, a housing program. They are, they are also saying, we will pay your rent, this is not a problem. If you give us a good salary, a normal salary, we can also afford the rent, but give us the possibility to have to rent houses because without the contract you have no resident permit you have not the possibility to rent a house so all these questions the permission the permit the resident permit is really linked to all other social rights uh, they are asking so a uh, key question on this has been the pro the proposal for the immigration itself so is this an old proposal that has been pending for some time or is this something that has come up in the light of the covid-19 pandemic and also, what is the response, uh, the, resp the approach of most of the mainstream political organized parties in Italy towards it? So, um, in Italy, you have like uh, 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 migrant uh, laws that is uh, just uh, linking the permit for uh, staying in Italy to a working contract. So, without a working contract, you have no permission. So, even if you work, but without the working contract, you have no uh, permission to stay in Italy. And this is a system that is really, it was settled and, and, uh, and uh, uh, 30 years ago. And till then, all the laws, all the, the reforms, they didn't change something in this, uh, in this basic idea. 
So you have the problem that uh, every five, ten years, the government is saying we have to make a regularization campaign because our economy needs this workforce, the migrant workforce. And uh, now it's again uh, the, the moment because wh why is it uh, the moment? Because the government is saying we have a very big problem with food because the, work, the workforce is missing on the fields. We risk that the half of our uh, harvest will stay there. They will just lay down in the ground without uh, uh, having the possibility to sell it in the supermarkets. So we need now to regularize this workforce uh, for a guarantee that the supermarkets can sell it. But what is the problem there? That uh, first, the prices are going up. So the prices of vegetables and fruits. And second, the profits of the supermarkets are going up. But at the same time, the salaries and the, uh, uh, the social rights of the workers, not only in the fields, but also inside of the supermarkets. So the Italian uh, workers of uh, warehouses, of cashiers and so on, they, uh, they didn't see uh, increasing uh, rights and salaries and wages. So these are like um, very linked situations of uh, different categories of the working class in Italy, right. from the field workers to the Italian workers inside of the cities, and also as uh, uh, workers, as consumers, because if you lose your work with this uh, lockdown, COVID lockdown, you have also uh, with the higher, pr higher prices, uh, higher, uh, um, 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 yeah, less money uh, to, to, to live. So you have to pay this uh, for the vegetables and so on. So we say this is a very uh, essential um, uh, point and uh, struggle uh, to link also these different categories of the, of the working class. The government uh, is really treating this like an emergency and uh, the emergencies, we have to give the permit, the resident permit for six months. After six months, we will pass this COVID crisis, this coronavirus crisis, and then we can return to normality with exploiting the workforce and so on. Right. And we are saying, no, it's not possible. Our demand is really, we need a, a permanent resident permit, permission to stay, uh, because uh, we cannot go back to the normality as they want it, with exploitation, no social rights and so on. Right. So uh, another key question is that you work extensively with migrants in Napoli as well as your organization. So could you talk a bit about the conditions they're facing right now, especially after the COVID-19 crisis? So the situation, I mean, it's not only for the, uh, for the migrants working in the fields or in the, in the private houses as care workers and so on, but above all also for refugees living in the refugees camps. I mean, the refugees camps that were very precarious uh, uh, living conditions also before the corona crisis, but with the crisis, the governments and the institutions organizing these uh, refugees camps, they did give, didn't give any possibility to, uh, to care uh, of, uh, of, uh, of the people. So it means that people are in rooms with seven to ten p uh, person, uh, with only one shower, uh, uh, even with one shower for uh, 50, 60 people. So you have really a lot of big problems uh, and, uh, and also, I mean, there are no health controls inside this, uh, this refugees camp. So we don't know if there are corona crisis cases inside right. of the camps and uh, there is no control in, in that part of the state. So the refugees, yesterday, for example, we went in front of uh, the interior ministry uh, uh, representation here in the city of Naples for saying these are not conditions we can tolerate anymore. And, uh, and, uh, and there is a big now uh, the, uh, big tendency to uh, uh, organize themselves again for migrants, even if it is a big, we have big problems to, to organize struggles and uh, movements with this lockdown, uh, uh, even if it opened a little bit, but it is not so easy to take back the street and take back the struggles in this period. But uh, I think that uh, the, the power that is coming from the migrants uh, is very strong and, uh, and these next days will also show uh, how we can go on with this organization of these demands and uh, yeah. Absolutely. And finally, just to ask a general larger question. So Italy, like I said, is going to be one of the countries where a lot of the questions are going to come up regarding you know, what are the kind of struggles the working class can do at this point of time? What are the kind of areas that these struggles have to be conducted in? So at a national level, what are the key demands that Potere El Popolo is presenting to the government, to the authorities regarding both relief as well as restructuring that is needed for the country? So first of all, it's clear that uh, we are coming from 10, 15 years of uh, restructuring of the health sector. 
uh, and uh, uh, they took away the money for public health sector system and they put it in the private sector and it is clear this has to stop. We have to give power again to the public health care system because this uh, corona crisis uh, uh, showed us that without a strong health care system you cannot uh, uh, guarantee the social rights and the health of all the collectivity uh, in, in the country. So it's not only for migrants or for Italians, it's really for everyone. So this is one of the first questions. Then we also ask, because the crisis is hitting very hard, so we are after the healthcare crisis, after the corona crisis, we are in the middle of an economic crisis. And this economic crisis means unemployment, poverty, and a lot of precarious situations in the neighborhoods and so on. So we are also active in distributing food packages uh, uh, around the, the neighborhoods, the poorer neighborhoods, but we are also asking the government to give uh, um, a basic income for this emergency, a basic income that is linked to the emergency that could be, after this emergency, uh, uh, like a, a, a possibility, a struggle field for the all working class to expand social welfare and public welfare. And, uh, and we know also that the next step of the crisis will be the austerity crisis because Italy needs money from abroad, needs money from the European Union and from the, from the banks. And we also know that the, the uh, class war is like this. Uh, the bourgeoisie will not accept to pay this money back. So they will put it on the, on, the, um, on the workers. And so the workers, they have to organize themselves also for not paying uh, the cost of the crisis as it was also before, already before in 2008, 2009. And then we have also big movements inside of the, of the workplaces. It was in the first phase, in the first uh, uh, period of the crisis, so in the middle of March, we had a lot of movements and uh, wildcat strikes inside of the workplaces for asking, uh, uh, for protecting the life, for asking social rights inside of the workplaces. And I think now, even if the government gave some response on that, it will come back because now it's opening the second period of this uh, of the corona crisis. And even if the if the fights and the demands will change, the uh, working class will will move, will organize, and we have to support them in uh, in uh, popular control structures so that we can guarantee that the rights inside of the workplace at workplaces are uh, guaranteed. Right. Thank you so much, Mauricio, for talking to us. Thank you very much. That's all we have time for today. Keep watching People's Dispatch. Yeah, cantar, que vamos a triunfar.